Hey everybody, I hope you're doing great. I wanted to check in with you again and send you another fun art video for you to work on. Uh, just to keep you busy because I know we've had a lot of time on our hands. Um, I hope that you're doing well with your lessons and you're keeping up. Remember, if you ever need any help, reach out to any teacher that you trust. We're all here for you. Um, you can find our email addresses online. Um, we're, we're definitely missing you as much as you were missing us. Uh, and I think the big thing for us right now is to remember to be grateful for the things that we have. So for me, especially, um, especially seeing all the other states that are also shut down right now, we've been very blessed here in Louisiana to have some beautiful weather to go and enjoy outside. So make sure you take advantage of that. Go outside for a little while, spend some time in the sun, even take your iPad or whatever outside um, when you do your art project. Uh, get some of that sunshine um, and let's think about all the positive things that are going on right now and try to stay positive um, that you are safe and that you are um, able to spend time with your family that you haven't gotten to do um, for a while. So let's try to stay positive and let's go ahead and stay tuned and make some art with me. I'm ready to get started on our art today. We're gonna be drawing some unicorns. So the first part we need to do is to make the nose or the muzzle of the unicorn. And it's gonna be a ra rather large U. You wanna make sure that your paper is long and vertical because we're gonna be um, drawing the portrait of the unicorn. Um, so the first part we're gonna do is, like I said, the nose. If you can, to make sure that you're drawing it big enough, you might wanna use your hand to make sure that the nose, would your, your hand would fit inside that big U. And if you wanted to, you can even trace around your hand to make that U. I can't really do it while I'm holding the phone but that might be helpful to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and just draw my big U shape right here. There is my big U, and as you can see, my hand fits inside of my U. So I could have traced around my hand to make that U. Um, so you see how it's kind of at an angle. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my ear. I'm gonna come up a little bit more and add the ear. Um, so all I did was continue my line and then I made a curve around for my ear. Next, I'm gonna add the neck. So right here where my U ended, I'm gonna come down a little bit and I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna draw a line all the way off the page. So here I am going at an angle, drawing that line off the page. Um, next, I'm going to draw the hair. So I'm gonna start here right in between the beginning of the nose and the ear and I'm gonna make a curve up, then I'm gonna make a curve down, then I'm gonna make another curve up, and then I'm just gonna bring it down. There is my little lock of hair. Next, I'm gonna draw the horn. So I'm gonna start in the same place. I'm gonna come straight up to a point, and then I'm gonna come down. There is my horn, and I'm gonna add some little lines for my horn. Then I'm gonna add another shape, just like this shape, but smaller inside my ear, for the inside of the ear. Then I'm gonna add the front of the muzzle. So you're just gonna make a little curved line here for the nose and put like a little nostril right there. Next, I'm gonna draw the hair on the back. So what you're gonna do is start right here where the ear ended and you're just gonna make a wavy line all the way down. So here we go, big wavy line all the way, oops, all the way off the page. Here we go, I'm gonna come up a little bit further on my ear and do the same thing, a wavy line all the way off my page. And one last one, another wavy line. There we go, there's my hair on the back of the unicorn. So the next thing is we're gonna draw an eye. So you have a couple of options. A lot of times people like to draw their unicorns where it kind of looks like they have their eyes closed. So if you wanted to do that, you would just make a U with some eyelashes. Um, I'm gonna do our unicorn with their eye open. So I'm gonna make an almond shape. So I'm just gonna make a curve and then I'm gonna make the same curve, um, but underneath. So a curve like this. Then I wanna make an eyelid, so what I'm gonna do is draw a straight line from this point to that point. So here I go, there is my eyelid, and then I'm gonna color in an eyeball. 
so there is my unicorn's eyeball. If you want, you can add some eyelashes to the back. So there's some little eyelashes on my unicorn. And now is your chance to add your own little flair to it. You can add um, some polka dots. You could add some other designs on your unicorn, even maybe some stripes in the unicorn hair, maybe some flowers, and then definitely add some color. Maybe you wanna draw a rainbow in the background. Whatever you wanna do to make this picture look better. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some details to my picture and show it to you. And then hopefully at home you can uh, create your unicorn and send me some pictures so I can see what you created. I hope you had fun with this activity. I to add some color to my unicorn. I wanted to show you one of my favorite coloring techniques. What I like to do, especially when I don't have a whole lot of supplies at home, is I'll trace or outline the shape that I'm gonna color with marker. And then I color really lightly the same color, but I use the crayon on the inside and it looks really nice. And especially when you're using crayon, the best way to make it look nice is to color in the same direction. So here you can see that my unicorn is outlined in orange. So I'm gonna go ahead and use an orange crayon and watch, I'm just gonna quickly go back and forth, filling in, I'm not pushing hard, I'm just filling in my unicorn and I'm coloring in the same direction all the way down. And it just gives it a nice smooth texture and you can really see that outline and marker and it makes it stand out a lot better. Um, and it just makes it look a lot prettier. So maybe you can practice your coloring techniques at home and um, see if you can improve some of your technique. So that was just a little tip that I had for you. All right, so here is my finished product. I added some polka dots and some colors. I added a rainbow, and then I even added some watercolor in my background. Um, if you didn't know that crayon works just like oil pastel and it resists that watercolor. So whenever I was painting my watercolor up here, it just pushed that paint away. Um, if you don't have any watercolor at home, that's fine. Um, in fact, regular washable markers that you might have at home, whenever you draw with them and you add a little bit of water, um, they will actually turn into some paint. Um, but just make sure that you have permission from your parents to do that before you start adding water to your paint um, or adding water to your paper. But this is my finished product and I hope that you had a good time and you enjoyed making your art.